Good morning, it is a Saturday. I just talked to the camera for like 12 minutes, but then I realized that I was divulging too much information, so I deleted the video. So um, basically, yeah, it is a Saturday, I have no plans. My air conditioning is coming from my other room, so I'm going to probably spend most of the weekend kind of cleaning up that room and getting it more usable. Lunch today, also making some air fryer french fries, um, but I have a pita pocket with some chicken breast, Swiss cheese, um, hummus, and what are those called? Sprouts. Um, it's a little bit rough. Uh, I might need to go to the grocery store to buy some more lunch meat, but that's maybe a task for tomorrow. And then I also have um, liquid IV here. It's very late now. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. It's 2.30. Um, the best time to go to the dentist. Um, <laughs> I was way too excited to say that stupid joke from Sesame Street. Um, but yeah, anyway, it is time for me to finally get off of the sofa. Um, I finished editing a couple of videos, so they should be rolling on out. And it's time for me to get ready to potentially film. Um, my friend and I are also somewhat kind of considering going to Queens, but it's kind of a trek. So we'll see. Because we both were like semi um, had fun last week when we went to um, Brooklyn to the other mall. So I was like, what about New World Mall? Do you want to? go. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm too old and too tired to be this spontaneous. Um, because also like New World Mall is like, I, I, I already did my skincare, I don't need to do that. Um, it's very much like a full-on like day trip. So um, where am I going with this? So I need to do makeup just in case um, I'm going out, but if not, I'm going to also film that boxy charm. Eyebrows eyeshadow. It is hot. <laughs> I didn't feel like it was that hot on my sofa. Liner. Okay. Okay, that took a lot out of me. I'm gonna go take a seat on my sofa for about 10 minutes and drink a bunch of water and I will be back to unbox by unboxing of my BoxyCharm for this month. I'm actually quite curious. I have seen zero spoilers so far for the BoxyCharm and the box itself is pretty hefty. Like it's a pretty wide box. Also, I got a little bit of sun last week, so now my face is like the different shade than the rest of me, like very fully, um, very different. Um, anyway, I am going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm probably going to drink also one more um, water than I mentioned earlier because I'm feeling suddenly very dehydrated. So talk to you soon. Trying to find some new beauty sponge. I may as well just use the second one of this, even though these sponges are terrible. They leave little like sponge marks all over my face. Um, like you see how it's kind of textured in there? I don't know. Hold on. Let me open the bag. Okay, this is probably so much clearer now. Um, but in terms of like the sponge marks, see what I mean? It's like a very spongy, like um, foamy texture. It's not soft like a beauty blender or like the crumb shop version are. Um, so yeah, it leaves a lot of little specks all over my face. But I'm going to just use this so I can finish it up. Hmm, I had thought about putting this here. Um, so this is from a Daiso haul from Industry City last weekend, um, but not great, so hold on. So I think I'm going to have to put it on the wall here above my computers. Um, let me move over. Cause I was, I had originally had a calendar here, but then when it became 2022, I didn't have a calendar. <laughs> so, hmm, we'll see. Okay, so obviously did not use the level. <laughs> Ignore that, um, but it's also a little bit high, so regretted that as well. So I'm going to just fill it in for August. Oh, I suddenly had a panic that this was the wrong marker. Okay, August. So I'm going to just fill it in. I have to remember it starts on Monday, so I'm going to just do that. Decided to pull it down off of the wall. <laughs> it was stupid to try to do it. Let me test out that white boredness. Okay, not bad, and even the eraser is working pretty well. Okay, so one. Whoops, there are 31 days. Looks pretty good. Let me fill in all my vacation info and be good to go. Okay, trying to put together this new monitor. We'll see. Um, I really need that air conditioner to come because it's like very sticky in here. Um, but I'm going to wrestle this together. Oh, okay, putting this guy in here. 
maybe need two hands, but coming together quickly. Putting this guy in here. Okay, good. Fixed it, all ready to go. Dinner today is a salad similar to yesterday. I also have the last bits of grapes and a beer because that sounded nice. Um, honestly, put, probably would not repurchase the Kirkland beer again. Um, it's a pretty solid IPA, but I just realized that I am not a beer person and that's a lot of beer to drink. Um, so anyway, going to eat dinner now. I just found this and wanted to eat it. Um, it is like apple, cinnamon with raisin, some sort of pastry. Um, it looks like it has some sugar on top as well. Um, it smells really good. I just threw it in the microwave for about 20 seconds with a damp paper towel on top. Fresh as new. Well, maybe not fresh, but moist as new. <laughs> oh, my hair. Um, anyway, I took a nap by accident, um, but then I mean I fell asleep at about, I don't know what time it was. I was watching grocery store videos on YouTube, um, but it's time for definitely going to bed. Um, I've been sitting in here waiting for the air conditioning to turn off and it didn't, so I just like manually turned it off. Today is the day, going to try to move this in. It's Sunday. This is like so heavy. <laughs> I, I'm probably gonna have to use both hands, um, but thankful to have it. It's already in the 90s and it's not even 10 a.m. yet. And it's like, 77% humidity according to the weather app on my phone. So definitely need this. Sorry, I'm going to have to set you down because this is like 60 something pounds. Okay, so it has some easy peasy instructions or at least it seems easy peasy. So let me do that. I'm not gonna show you it because I need both hands. Um, but cut them, open the straps, open the flaps, take out the accessories, take off the box and then move it from the bottom. Got it. Top level here are the accessories. So not entirely sure what all of these are, but I'm going to remove them as was the instructions. Okay, so this is the instructions here. Sorry, I had to turn on my fan and then, yeah. So got it out. Um, gotta obviously take off the plastic, etc. The little um, panel thing that goes in the window is right there. And these are the instructions on how to put it together. And I have to obviously take care of all those boxes in the, in the hallway later after I finish this. I have to return the air conditioner. <laughs> there, because of that stupid gap freaking thing on the bottom, I can't close the window. So I can't even use this air conditioner. Oh my gosh, it's so sunny and hot out. There's a light breeze, but so hot. Oh, made it. Shawarma sandwich from Honey Brains and some fancy soda. This is the jerk salmon bowl and the hibiscus drink. Super nice. Manhattan West. Oh, this is an apartment building. I looked at living here. Because there's a park like this here. Different view. Obviously back home, my friend and I went 
to a lot of places actually. We started at Columbus Circle um, and then we it started pouring and we didn't bring an umbrella. <laughs> so then we went to Honey Brains. So Honey Brains, the food was good. Um, so basically I had seen that restaurant because I walked past it quite often whenever I walked down um, 8th Ave. Um, but I've never been in it. So I have seen it also on Ticket to Go because they always have, um, I think on weekdays, they have one or two bags available, usually at the end of the day, which is like at 9.30 or so. So I've always been curious about it, but um, we went there and it was kind of expensive, actually. <laughs> so I think I paid like 20, $21 after tax and tip um, for the food. And it was good and it was high quality food, but I don't know necessarily if it was worth that much money. Um, I also did get that hibiscus drink because it sounded really good and refreshing and it was. Um, it was like 100 degrees outside today and humid as heck and then um, it just sounded like it was going to be good. Um, but I would say that if you're looking for a good place for like a quick bite um, and you have people in your and you have people in your party who are vegan and vegetarian or just want to eat a little bit more like clean I guess um, that might be a good option for you. There's also another um, vegan option down the next block called New Leaf. Um, I actually thought that that was where we were going because I thought Honey Brains was the purely plant-based, but no, New Leaf is the purely plant-based. But then there were other options that also sounded quite good and probably would have been half the price. <laughs> so I was like, let's go to the Taco Bell Cantina or the Popeyes. And then um, basically my friend has never been to Popeyes and she wants to go. And then um, I've been wanting to go to Taco Bell Cantina for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, we, we ended up at the Honey Brains. We were actually on our way to go to, um, at the Edison Hotel, they have a Freedman's and that sounded good, but then it started downpouring, so we changed our mind right away. Um, there's also a Deep Indian Kitchen, so I actually didn't realize this, but my friend told me that the Deep Indian Kitchen is actually the same Deep Indian brand that makes like simmer sauces and pickles um, that you can buy in the grocery store, so she told me that that was the same brand and I was like oh I was like that place is always so busy I don't know if it's good or not um, but actually we have been discussing because I found this Indian place because I've been researching where to um, basically food for my company meeting coming up because that's like the only thing I've been volunteered for that I want to be a part of is the activity and food selection so I found a couple of Indian places that sounded good but more for like actually just my friends because I don't think that certain people in it's not in their flavor profile so that is just on my separate Google map so I always use Google Maps reviews because I I tend to trust them slightly more because for Yelp I feel like Yelp is kind of like I don't know back in the day it was a little bit better but now people are like really just putting in like a bunch of like random five star reviews because the restaurant will give them like an extra soda or something for free um for example so i don't really trust it but that is now creeping into the whole not whole foods what's it called google maps reviews as well so i definitely found that um on some of the uh, restaurants i looked at last month when we were planning our in-person meeting so yeah there also seems to be a helicopter so that's weird but yeah so anyway we went there then we walked to Hudson Yards it was a pretty nice walk actually so it was like super windy and it was hot and somewhat humid like by that I mean pretty darn humid but the wind definitely helped a little bit on the walk because we walked about a mile so we went around in Hudson Yards found a couple of items at Uniqlo that we wanted to buy um, basically they had a couple of great sales on some items so we bought similar <laughs> but different because both of us kind of have like a very different style so I like darker shades and my friend likes lighter shades so we just bought like some like the same thing with a different like print basically um, we had gone into Uniqlo because I was looking for um, a replacement shirt like the ones that I always wear because I bought like five colors of that particular um, shirt and I ruined a couple of them with eyeliner, so um, they're also like getting to the, the end of their useful life because they're starting to get really faded and thin in certain parts. Anyway, long story, they don't have them, so 
We also found there that they had pajamas. So I've been looking for pajama sets for a while, but I'm just like too cheap to pay the full price for them because oddly they're like $40. I don't know, like even at Target, I think they're like 30 something. But um, at the Uniqlo, they had them on sale today. So we picked up one each and they're like the same but different patterns again um so we have those as well and then after that we were getting thirsty and i was like super thirsty so we wanted bubble tea so we went over to k-town so um we went over there we were gonna go into machi machi first but there was kind of a long queue that place is like super famous these days because their bubble tea comes in like this cute glass jar so you can reuse it it looks really nice and then they also have mochi donuts and um Korean hot dogs like the corn dogs so it's always a very long line there but they have a new system where you can like do the touchpad outside before you go into the queue but there's actually like uh, out only an outdoor seating area for um, consuming it so then we ended up at Grace Street my friend had never been to Grace Street and then we ended up ordering a boba milk tea bread and I got a rose milk tea I might not sleep tonight that's what I'm scared about so <laughs> I am going to probably take an allergy pill because my allergies are really bad because of all of the wind it was really um, picking up a lot of dirt and stuff so my eyes are super itchy and I think I can sense that I'm sounding a little bit congested right now um, so it'll be good to get those allergies taken care of before tomorrow came home set up my um, what's it called the air conditioner I jury rigged it so we had this discussion so my friend used a word that is like not really a great word to use anymore so we were thinking of created things so I talked with my mom on the phone trying to figure out how to jury rig it and then I was like she was like yeah jury rig it and I said I think it's jury rig it so internally that's what I said so I googled it the answer is both are correct jury rig j-u-r-y is actually the original entomology of the word and then jury rig is somehow got into the vernacular and that is how people call it there's also another one that's related jury the third word that's related I can't remember it's like Jerry something j-e-r-r-y kind of like Jerry rig is j-e-r-r-y um, so anyway boring story I still need to figure out how to put the um, sealant on there because I have to buy it basically from Amazon I can't find it at any hardware store I stopped on the hardware store by my house and they had no idea what I was talking about so um, I need to buy it from Amazon probably but until then I will be just trying to use it um, I did jerry rig it or jerry rig it and I put packing tape around it it looks really bad um, but until that comes in that's going to just be the solution for now um, I would say that I would not recommend a portable air conditioner until you have the proper accoutrements for it so make sure you have like the insulation foam for the sides and also for the hose so the hose is going to leak a lot because around the sides it's not really fully secure so there's a lot of um, air that's going to leak out of there so I'm trying to find all of that stuff it's gonna look really ugly but I'm hoping to not spend way too much money on electricity because it's always trying to keep up with the air that's getting lost out of the window so um, I did test it out it does does work pretty well um, it has like a digital like thermostat on it and I can tell you that my room in there was 95 degrees and I had like the blackout curtains closed the entire day um, because that faces where the Sun is basically so I had the blackout curtains closed without that it would be like 10 degrees hotter so like 105 degrees in there and I no wonder I'm toasty that's all I gotta say during work so hopefully that'll help tomorrow because I'm not gonna go into the office I considered it because it's supposed to be in the hundreds tomorrow as well but it's just like going to be hundreds humid rainy sounds miserable to be sitting at work being miserable so um, I'm just going to hang out here and hopefully that'll be the good solution. So I am going to go to bed now and I will talk to you in the morning. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully this was kind of interesting. I got up to like medium stuff today. Um, yesterday I think was a little bit of a bummer. So I don't know if you have much stuff in the um, content wise of this video. Um, but I should have gone to the grocery store, but I just was a little bit pooped. So I don't know what I'm going to eat tomorrow because I don't have salads. Because I have liked having those salad kits in my um, arsenal. 
What's the word? Refrigerator. Uh, so my friend and I were like joking because after we ate at Honeybrains, this is like a bigger tangent. Honeybrains says that they're backed by neuroscience, but after we left, we like legitimately couldn't think of words. And we're like, oh my gosh, we feel dumber after eating at that restaurant. Um, but I would say actually, so review of the food, the salmon that was on my jerk salmon bowl was actually really good. I would say that the sauce from the jerk salmon, pretty salty, but that's like part of course. Um, so in terms of what I ordered again, yeah, again, with the, um, you know, the disclaimer earlier of like if I was like in a rush and I had people who were vegan, vegetarian, gluten free, etc. Um, I would probably stop there again. The drinks were really good though. They also have a coffee bar in there. So my friend ended up getting a nut and honey latte and that one looked really good. She said it was really nice. It is, um, they have like basically organic honey and you can add whatever you want to your drink, um, complimentary, and they have a lot of specialty drinks as well. So I would say it was a pretty nice cafe. And that is the reviews. So anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow and that'll be another work week in my life. Hopefully I get up to something interesting. On Thursday, there is an event that I was invited to go to, but we'll see if I actually am going to go. Um, it depends on if my friend ends up going into her office in Midtown this week as well, because then I'll go in and then we'll go together. Um, I just have to coordinate and things like that but it will be an interesting event if I do end up going it's at the cheese place um, but yeah stay tuned for that so I will talk to you again in the morning see you then bye